What's that smell? Have you ever found yourself wanting to tell someone about their bad breath or just their bad body odor or just simply the way that they're keeping themselves and presenting themselves to the world? When should you tell somebody about their bad, bad hygiene? And should you even tell anybody, somebody about their bad hygiene? Hello my people, welcome to Sandra Said What. Today we are talking about ugh, bad hygiene. Poor hygiene is the inevitable result of someone's reluctance or incapability to tend to their bodily needs. Poor hygiene can lead to bad breath, bad body odor, or maybe simply the way someone's hair is unkempt, or their clothes is unkempt, or their clothes is dirty, and how they walk around and it's just like, you're like, oh, what's that smell? Is that me? You know, sometimes you gotta check yourself too, because you be thinking it's somebody else, you never know. But the question today is, when should you tell somebody about their bad hygiene? Or should you even tell someone about their bad hygiene? My thing is, I think that it's something that's very delicate and very sensitive and can really mess up someone's self-esteem. Don't just run around and tell the first person that you see that's unkempt or that has a little B.O. or maybe their breasts think a little don't be running and telling them the, the first and everyone that you meet because that's rude a lot of people use it as a way to be mean don't do that that's very hurtful but i think it all depends on how close you are to the person and only if it affects you personally if you're dating someone and they have bad body odor and then you're gonna have to be around them a lot then i think you are you should be able to tell them but the thing is it's not what you say it's how you say it so i would do some research into like how to deliver the message or give them hints let's say they have bad breath you keep offering them mints and if they say it i can tell anybody anything through a joke if they say what you trying to say yeah that's kind of what i'm saying and you laugh it off but no no seriously and then even if you laugh it off now subconsciously when they go home they're gonna want to look into that but I don't think you should just tell anyone it just because you feel like it somebody could have be having like a long day they've been running around and they have a little B.O. it's not like that's how they smell all the time or somebody forgot to brush their teeth this morning or they were in a rush or something like that that's one thing but consistent body odor let's say you are at school and you have to be in class with someone and they always that's not your business let the person live go to class go home keep your distance if you need to and let them live it's not your business unless it's personally impacting you i don't think you should some people have overactive sweat glands that could be the result of why they have body odor and some people it might be because of a type of illness that someone has that you're not aware of so you have to be very careful because oh my gosh i knew someone it could be like negative 40 degrees and they would be like sweating excessively and i'm not talking about you know a little sweat here like oh my gosh one time i swear to god i am not kidding that you could twist the clothes from them it'd be like sweat is dripping all over and i wanted to say something because i was around this person a lot and i what I did was I did some research like what causes that and I found like an article that talked about how it could be you know from an illness that that person might not even be aware of so I sent them the article because I would be like why are you sweating are you hot it's like no I'm just yeah I'm hot but I'm like it's 40 degrees yeah I'm hot so I sent the article and <laughs> they were like yeah I've, I've always been aware that I have a problem over you know excessive sweating and i've just kind of learned to live with it and i felt bad in a way but i was like i don't want to be that's not what i want to be around i also have a friend oh my god this is so bad i'm gonna get in so much trouble but they don't know it's them so it doesn't matter okay i have a friend who has like really bad breath and i kid you not every time i have a conversation with this person i have to hold my breath because i can't breathe and I can take the smell. So I've contemplated like telling them many, many, many times. I just feel like telling them is gonna ruin their friendship. They might be embarrassed to be around me after telling them that, or they might.
might feel like, I don't know. I'm kind of like hesitant about telling because I don't want to tell them that and then it causes them to, you know, have low self-esteem. I haven't seen this person in like years. Like we talk on the phone because that's the only way we could talk. I can't, but I I've been not. tempted on many occasions to say something and be like, hey, what's going on? You know, the first time I met them, I wanted from the, I've known this person for like, I don't want to say how many years so they don't guess, but for years now, and from the first time I met them, I always wanted to tell them. One of my friends actually told me, guy, just tell the person they have bad breath. But it's like, I don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. And the other thing is now that we've had a, such a long friendship, it's going to be like, oh, so you've known me for this long and you never said anything? It could ruin our fr I don't think our friendship would be the same if I ever said something. I think they would be very embarrassed and our friendship would, would not be the same. I live in South Florida where it's always a very hot climate. I'm sure once or twice I've ran around all day and I was sweating and I had a little B.O. Well, if somebody came to me, I probably cussed you the fuck out, bitch. Mind your fucking business, okay? I'm not running around dirty and nasty all the time. I had a fucking long day. Mind your business. The only time I think it's appropriate like to tell someone about their body odor legit is like if you're dating that person then you know you're gonna be getting physical with this person and if that's something you can tolerate more power to you but if you can't give them subtle hint and if they're not picking up the hints you might need to have a real conversation with this person but delivery is I think this should be like on a case-by-case -case basis depending on who the person is how close you are to them How this is impacting you if it ain't impacting you and you guys are not friends mind your business And like I think it really depends on if the person know you well enough And you know like the, how they're gonna react to your message even if you know someone you might not You might think that they'll react to something one way and they it's like whoa this is not what I was expecting. So be careful with your delivery. Ah, oh, I don't think you should tell unless it's absolutely necessary. But I wanna ask y'all, cause I know people can be me. Have you guys ever told anyone about their body odor? Or would you tell someone about their body odor? Have anybody ever told you you needed, you know, to do a little cleaning up here and there? Let me know, Sandra said what at gmail.com. You can find me or any other questions you have for that matter. And then facebook.com forward slash Sandra said what. Twitter, Sandra underscore normal. Instagram, Sandra N E I K O. Nico. Yeah. I'll talk to you in the next video, you guys. Bye. <laughs> this was so funny today.